speaker basically the following motion standing in my name resolution standing in my name whereas is provided by section 63 1a of the public finance management act cap 51.01 the act that the minister of finance may by an affirmative resolution of parliament borrow from a bank or other financial institution for the capital or current expenditure of government <clears throat> and whereas it is further provided under section 64 of the act that money borrowed by the government must be paid into and form part of the consolidated fund and whereas the minister of finance considers it necessary to borrow an amount of special joint rights 30 million five hundred thousand the loan from the international development association the fund to finance the St. Lucia Sustainable Recovery Development Policy Financing. And whereas the service charge is three fourths of 1% per annum on the, on, the, on, on, the, on withdrawn financing balance. And whereas the loan is payable in 40 years, commencing from the date of disbursement of the loan inclusive of a great period of 10 years and whereas the loan is repayable in semi-annual installments on the first day of april and first day of october of each year after the grace period be it resolved that a parliament authorizes a minister of finance to borrow an amount of special joint rights sdrs 30 million five hundred thousand the loan from the international development association to finance the St. Lucia Sustainable Recovery Development Policy Financing. Be it further resolved that the service charge is three fourths of 1% per annum on the joint credit balance. The maximum commitment charge is one half of 1% per annum on the unwithdrawn financing balance. The loan is repayable in 40 years commencing from the date of disbursement of the loan inclusive of a grace period of 10 years. The loan is repayable in semi-annual installments on the first day of April and first day of October of each year after the grace period. Mr. Speaker, this resolution is seeking approval from the Honorable House to borrow the sum of 30.5 million or US dollars 40 million. Mr. Speaker, one SDR is worth 1.35 million US, Mr. Speaker. So in total, Mr. Speaker, the loan that is being sought from the agency is 108 million EC dollars. Mr. Speaker, I will not be speaking I'll not be saying too much this morning because this loan is a policy-based loan and it's meant to finance government's operations in the upcoming budget, the upcoming policy debate, which will happen on the 26th, 23rd of April next year, next month, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Again next month, next year. So, Mr. Speaker, um, the, the, the government had to, had to meet certain what we call pillars so that the agency would be satisfied that St. Lucia met the threshold and the St. Lucia economy could accept or could handle such a loan, Mr. Speaker. Albeit the loan is to be repaid in 40 years' time, a 10-year grace period, and an interest rate of 0.75%. Mr. Speaker, in these times of rising interest rates, a 0.75% interest rate is considered very concessionary, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, briefly, the loan is going to be used for budgetary support. It's going to, to finance government's projects in the uh, upcoming budget, Mr. Speaker. And uh, there's, uh, the, the loan is going to be broken down as follows. Budgetary support, 35 million. And 5 million US dollars to complete the activities under the OECS Regional Tourism Competitive Project. So this development policy loan, Mr. Speaker, that's how it's going to be used, part for budgetary support and the other part for 
the Tourism Competitiveness Project, Mr. Speaker. As I said, Mr. Speaker, I will be speaking a lot more on this loan instrument, but I want to say to you that St. Lucia's debt to GDP ratio is still higher than well, what you wanted it to be, Mr. Speaker. The ETCB um, is stating that we have a 60% debt to GDP ratio, and I think our calculations as we speak to see um, we probably around 70% in the figure, but the final figure is we're going to head at the policy, at the policy discussion in this figure. So, Mr. Speaker, like I said, this is a, a policy development. It's not the first time we've had a policy-based loan. All governments have taken, the last government did take on a policy-based loan. It's a loan that will help in the financing of the government's budget, but there was one after COVID, and this one is is to so, so cushion the effects of the, the, the COVID, the problem in Ukraine, the increase in oil prices, and, the, and also the increase in interest rates. So you will hear a lot more about how the money be used, but it basically is a budget to support loads, Mr. Speaker. I urge members to support this resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.